Yeah, I mean, it was a, a very nice panel. I was, in fact, very impressed by the quality of the of my partners there uh, on the panel, talking about the different aspects of uh, technology that can Im impact the future of uh, the future of health. Uh, specifically, myself, uh, I was covering a bit more the importance of realizing how impactful it can be for the life of people health inequality. Uh, as I said, like still today, depending on your passport, the country where you are born, the postcode of your own city, you may have access to different uh, standards of care. And that's really defining sometimes whether you live or you die. Uh, therefore, we need to try to scale early diagnosis and screening for all those life-threatening diseases in order to have a much more equal society and but rehumanize this, uh, this world. Because the most basic principle of this, on my opinion, the, the most basic human right is having equal access to keep living, which at the moment is not happening, unfortunately, even in developing countries. In developed countries, yeah, I mean there are a lot of different ways, right, of, of technology. You can you can be talking about we're talking about you know diagnosis, but you can talk about uh, precision medicine. You can talk about gene therapy. You can talk about and that's kind of a big wave of aggregated technologies you can think about you know how those technologies and how data are going to be used to predict a bit better i mean but having all those different technologies to treat diseases or to improve the life of patients from different ways at the end to bring us to our collective objective which is how can we reduce the amount of patients that are in our hospitals how can we act earlier diagnose earlier treat earlier to avoid that patients are able to have severe disease.